Hi everybody, um, I'm Leone Costi. Um, I'm a third year PhD student at the Bioinspire Robotics Labs in Cambridge um, under Professor Fumi Aida. Um, originally I'm Italian, um, I did my studies in Turin and then in Pisa um, and I ended up in Cambridge to do, to do my, my PhD. My project, or at least the main part of the last three years, have been about soft interfaces for telerobotics. So the idea of uh, having a robot in a given space um, and a second robot in a second uh, remote space and then to use the first one to control the second one. And in particular, I look at the interface that the humans have to deal with um, and I use soft materials because we want to reproduce what it should feel like human to human contact. Um, and so even though you're touching a robot, we still want you to feel something soft, like, like a tissue. I come from a biomedical engineering or an engineering background and my knowledge of materials in particular was very limited. I didn't know what a self-feeling material was or that a material could be self-feeling. So like from, from the get-go, um, the, the entire thing looked like a bit sci-fi, a bit a bit out of reach. And thanks to SMART, and especially thanks to all the mobility that SMART allowed us to have um, between institutions, um, I was able to, to go to EMPA and to find out and to actually learn a lot of stuff that now I can take back in the world of robotics and then arguably be a better roboticist. Our first target is medical robotics. Um, we are basically trying to implement uh, the sense of touch remotely on medical robots so that um, a general practitioner could take an examination from somewhere else with respect to where the patient is um, and so you don't necessarily need to be in the same room but you can access healthcare anywhere in the world provided that you have an internet connection. Um, so we have the, the soft silicon uh, interface that you can use to control the robot and then we will have the robot next to it. Now they don't need to be in the same room but for demos purposes we will put them next to each other so you can see how you are able to control the motion of the robot but also to feel what the robot is feeling.